here to put out a very special and very urgent prayer request for my sister Vicki Ackerman of, of Grafton, West Virginia. Before I give out the prayer request, let's go to Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 11. The Bible says, Ask and it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth, he seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened unto you. What man is there of you whom, if his son asks bread, will you give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will you give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask Him? Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7 says, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Is there any James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16? Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. If he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The, fervent, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I'm asking prayer, and this is a very urgent request. It's for my sister Vicki Ackerman of uh, Grafton, West Virginia. Some time ago, she was bit by a bat. <clears throat> now, some of you may ask, what's so serious about that? Let me tell you something about bats. They are rabies carriers. And a lot of people have gotten rabies through the bite, bat bites. Her and her husband both got bit by a bat. We don't know whether the bat was rabied or not. I'm going to tell you something tonight. This is a serious thing about being bit by rabid animals. Let me explain. You know, a few years ago, we were facing a major disease worldwide called COVID-19 or the coronavirus. And we know how serious it was. But one thing you could say about coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, it's true, quite a few people, I'd say several million died worldwide. But thank God, several million worldwide who had it survived. Let me tell you why. Right here's one of them. And I'm sure there's several listening to me right now who will say the same thing. I had coronavirus or COVID-19 and I survived. So you may even say I had it two or three times and I survived. I'm not downplaying the seriousness of it. I, if anything, I see where it was serious. But you're dealing with a more deadly disease than coronavirus or COVID-19. The good news is rabies is not as easily carried as COVID-19. COVID-19, you just more or less got around somebody with COVID-19 and you had it. That's not the case with rabies, but the thing with rabies, it comes often by animal bites who have it. Whether it be bats, dogs, cats, squirrel, rabbit, uh, Raccoons, which is a notorious one. Fox is another very notorious rabies carrier. I mean, 
there's some animals out there just got that uh, reputation. And yes, the bat is one of them. And one more thing. Millions of people got it and died, the COVID-19. Millions of people got COVID-19 and, and survived, thank the Lord. <clears throat> but this is the problem with rabies. I don't know how many thousands of years rabies has been in this world. But there's been, I'd say, in the millions who've got it. Go back two or three thousand years. And go up in the modern times. And then go up to a more modern day and age. If you go from the when it first was known to just the recent months, only, and this is what I read, only 29 people have survived it. Now I say that, I want to read something my sister wrote me, and then I'm going to ask you to pray for her. And I'm going to pray too. Urgent prayer request, please pray. Rabies test show that vaccines have had minimal neutralizing effect. Thus, my immunocompromised self did not respond to the vaccines given post-exposure. I'm very nervous. There are other things with this situation that are not good. I'm not going to say a lot. We've talked, and I'd like to keep it confidential, but I do want to say she has an autoimmune disease and as a result you know, things may not work out the way we would want them to. So let's keep Vicki in prayer that God will prevent her from having rabies and if she does get it, that God will instantaneously heal. I believe God is still the healer in 2023. People have been healed of cancer. People were healed of COVID-19. People have been healed of diabetes and heart trouble and strokes. And yes, I understand there's been a case or two where some people were healed of rabies. So you know what I'd like you to do with me tonight? Those who are watching this later on after I record it, I want you to bow with me in prayer right now. I'm going to pray God gives my sister Vicki Ackerman of Grafton, West Virginia, a miracle. I believe God still heals. With his stripes we are healed. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. A chastisement of our peace was upon him. With his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgive all thy iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Let's pray that God will supernaturally heal Vicky. That she won't even have this rabies. Let's pray now. Heavenly Father, I come to you now in Jesus' name. Father God, I ask you to send your hand of healing upon my sister tonight, wherever she be. And Father, I ask you to send, send that, the Holy Ghost upon her. and Let her feel the presence of God right now. Come into wherever she is right now. Touch her body ask you to give her the peace of God which passeth all understanding, the peace that the world cannot give. I ask you, Father, to touch her body and heal her completely of this. We thank you, Father. Rabies is nothing for you. You can heal rabies supernaturally. When all else fails, we can always depend upon you. So, Father, I ask you to touch my sister Vicky. Ask you to give her the healing she needs. And while we're at it, I ask you to touch her financially too.
because we know this has not been a cheap route. Touch Vicky and heal her, make her whole, and have your way in her life, as well as her husband's, in Jesus' name. Amen. I do want people, normally I don't beg for uh, people to put comments. But I'd like you all this time, some of those that are here, to, if you say nothing else, pray, and that all I'll be expecting. God bless you, and I believe God still answers prayer.